what's up guys welcome back to another vlog this one's going to be very special because today is going to well not today tomorrow is going to be mitsubishi owners day 2022 as you guys know i did actually end up hosting this with socal evo in the socal 3000 gt guys i was actually considering taking the eclipse for this event but i did notice a big puddle on the floor and once i inspected the engine bay i did notice that the master cylinder up here in the corner is actually leaking so that means that the next one up in line is the 3000 gt now if you've been around mitsubishi's for a while you guys know what mitsubishi owners day is it used to be hosted by mitsubishi themselves but as of 2018 they actually stopped hosting it for whatever reason it was a pretty big bummer for a lot of us because it was basically a yearly event which a lot of people got together for for 2022 us the people are bringing it back and i do want to give a huge shout out to anyone watching this that actually went to the event because you're making this possible you have to go to a pre-meet spot super early in the morning and then from there all the mitsubishis are going to cruise it down to the beach and if everything goes well i do plan on making this a yearly thing obviously changing locations this is more of like a test to see how it turns out uh, but i'm pretty hyped i'm just here to document show you guys the cars and if you're not from socal kind of show you guys how the socal mitsubishi gets down so i'll see you guys tomorrow super excited super nervous uh but let's see how it turns out What's up, dude? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, charger for that. <laughs> You're not even paying me for this. Still working on it, man. We didn't have no time to finish. I don't want to not be here. Gotcha. So it's like it, it goes how it goes. That's good right there. Three hundred, okay. Like in the selfie stick. <laughs> This one's yours? Yeah. Super clean, bro. Good morning. Um, How you doing? Boy, what's going on? Not much, man. Um, <laughs> I love this shirt, dude. <laughs> what's up, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. VR4. Good morning. What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm doing good. Where you been at, bro? Oh my. <laughs> you been MIA? Just chilling. For those of you that don't know, Danny did get an Evo 10 and he basically modified it off grid, lowered it, got a coat of the calipers. No, no, you didn't? No, it came no, like that? No. Yeah, there's a paint. I Damn. Mean, oh, you painted them? Yeah. yeah, that looks good. You got the Race 57 CRs. What's up with your 2G? Ah, that's a big paperweight. <laughs> they just say, huh? <laughs> you trying to get sponsored by Red Bull? <laughs> this is your whip? <laughs> Spots from Red Bull, he's asking. They had to wake up this early on a Sunday and sponsored by Red Bull right now. <laughs> or coffee. <laughs> Victory function fenders, RPF ones, wide body rear. Nice little tens in the back. New banners? What do you think? That's sick, dude. 
Try to do it now or later? Uh, are we leaving already? Right? I think we're about to leave, yeah. I'll do it later. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we got a full carbon fiber front end, 3000. Carbon fenders, over fenders, front bumper, hood. That's sick right there. All right, guys, so we're gonna get ready to wrap it up. So a lot of you guys got the directions. We're gonna take the 60 to the 605, down to the 405 and get up on beach. Uh, you, you can either get off on beach or Magnolia. Uh, I know it's gonna be hectic trying to get in through just one street. So if you guys wanna like just spread out, it's gonna be the left parking lot. Uh, that's on Magnolia and uh, PCA. I mean, I know some of y'all like to step on it, but let's keep it safe, all right? Trying to get pulled over. We don't want that attention. Yeah, just Be try safe to keep it in there. Right? All the 3000 GTs lined up right here and as you guys can see for the most part it's always the Evos that take over that's it for DSM's or what? they're all the way on that side oh they're on that side like the corner corner. <laughs> there's like more 3000s this year than DSM's that's not a good thing graphite gray really dang what else inner cooler uh-huh what? Uh, You're not convincing me to buy it. Come on, what else? He's selling it? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it breaks down sometimes? Body's intact. Okay. Intact. Uh -huh. With zip ties? Yeah, zip ties. Uh-huh. What else? Uh, okay. the spoiler. Oh, shit, really? You never, you never see the spoiler on these cars. Dang. Spoiler on the front bumper. <laughs> 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 What's up with your 2G? It's getting there. See it's right here. Way. You got the sweater for Oh yeah, I had to represent. Uh, you know, well right now, I have the head right now. I bought an Evo 8 head. Yeah. Um, and for those of you guys that don't know, he actually bought my Evo 8 4G63. So he's doing the Evo swap on his 2G. Front wheel drive side. But front wheel drive. So you're going with the 3G trans and all that stuff, yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to stay front wheel. And then once I'm ready to go big turbo, um, I do plan to go with a 6260. Oh, so you're going for like, on a front wheel drive setup. You're freaking crazy, dude. So I'm going to run a fat 24 inch slick in the front. <laughs> fat yeah. slick, that'd be and dope actually. Gonna... You, don't, you don't see yourself buying a GSX or GSC instead? Um, don't get me wrong, I love the 4G63 platform. <laughs> from the 90s but I feel like the 2003 like the evil 8s and 9s I yeah. feel like the four, the newer forges are more reliable yeah they're easier to work on too yeah. right they're a lot I, easier to work on and yeah, parts are not that 
Parts are more expensive, but they're not as hard to source. Exactly, for the yeah. ECL, like sensors and stuff for like yeah. these cars these, are a little harder. There's so many parts that I know you can't find anywhere anymore. <laughs> yeah, and they're getting there. If you need a specific part from the junkyard, bro, when is the last time you see Oh, no, dude, you don't see, you, we used to see them all the time on Danny. And now it's like a now unicorn. They're, they're shit. You're not gonna find anything anywhere. Never. Why are you so shy? Huh? <laughs> Why are you so shy for? It's because you get me like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so tell me about the car. That thing is just a uh, built 2-2. Um, Evo, not Evo 9 wagon with the sequential. Nothing okay. Crazy. So when are we gonna do a video driving? Hey, you tell me, bro. For real? I'll, I'll open my day just for you. Bro. Damn. How much you make? I uh, made 917 with uh, 684 foot pounds torque. Damn, bro, you're not scared to break it? I am scared to break it. <laughs> <laughs> I never do pulls. No, we'll do pulls when we'll you do pulls? Yeah, we'll do pulls. Canyon, beach cruise, what do you want? Whatever you want, bro. Just uh, not canyons. I don't want to drive to Azusa, it's far, bro. It's not a canyon car or what? Can it handle in the corners? It can handle, but just. It's more know. of a I don't want to risk it, you know? Yeah, I feel like it's a long drive than there, I'm... then I got traffic with this. Uh, one thing I'll be honest like, yeah. traffic in a sequential is ass. start off by saying a huge thanks to every single one of you that actually came out to the event today I'm just glad that I was actually able to document all you guys there hopefully I got you guys in the video and if I didn't I do apologize but there's just so many cars I was talking to a bunch of you guys and honestly it's such a great experience to be able to go out and just talk to other Mitsubishi enthusiasts and also huge shout out to the SoCal Evo and SoCal 3S guys for helping host this event uh, we were talking and we do plan on making this a yearly thing we did use today as a test to see how many people were going to show up and based on what we saw a lot of you guys actually showed up so if we're able to make it more official at an actual you know location like Irwindale or something with a track there to have like the car show section and then the track for you guys to actually run it on I think that would be a pretty sick setup to have for an official meet. The 3000 GT did really good today. I do have a couple mods planned for it right before we start on the Evo. Actually, let me go show you guys. Here I have the AEM wideband and O2 sensor that we still have to install on the car. And I'm also going to be installing this uh, three inch cutout. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a remote activated exhaust system, I guess you can say. It kind of opens the valve here. 
as you guys can see it basically just makes the car an open downpipe exhaust system so there's less back pressure and it sounds absolutely insane as far as the evo as you guys know we do have the slipping clutch so once we're done with the 3000 gt then we could come back and start focusing on the build series for this thing pull the motor go big turbo do all the fun stuff so that's coming super soon in the channel but yeah i guess you can say i'm actually pretty hyped on what's to come to the channel because i've honestly been wanting to do a big turbo build on the evo for a while now so i'm actually pretty hyped on what's to come i do have to pull the engine out and well that's gonna be a whole nother like headache in itself so we do have to focus on finishing up the rest of the 3000 gt first but either way i hope you guys enjoyed the mitsubishi owner's day we had today pretty small for what it could be i do see more potential in it but once we make it a yearly thing with more awareness i do believe that we can bring it back to its glory days so make sure you like comment subscribe see you on next week's episode